Some farmers use heavy wall drip line and others use drip tape or some even a combination. Making the right choice for your farm, vineyard, or orchard can have a significant impact on plant health, water efficiency, or overall maintenance and cost. We're going to go over the pros, cons, and differences between drip line and drip tape. By the time this video is done, you'll have everything you need to make the right choice for your own irrigation system. The choice between heavy wall drip line and drip tape, often called thin wall drip line in the industry, comes down mainly to plant type, water pressure, durability, ease of installation and maintenance, and cost. To help with this, we invited Ed from Irritech, one of the world's premier irrigation manufacturers, to come down and share some of his vast knowledge. Since you likely have particular plants in mind, let's start with plant type and go from there. Our permanent crops tend to be spaced out a little bit more. Orchards, the trees are eight, 10 feet apart. Hard. They could be four feet apart. Vineyards, basins, four feet between the plant. But to get the application of water down that we need for that crop, it allows us to go to that six tenths of a gallon an hour emitter, that one gallon an hour emitter. Heavy wall drip line is often preferred for thirstier plants. The reason is that on average, the emitters in heavy wall drip line flow at higher rates than that seen in drip tape. Drip line is also more flexible, allowing us to cover irregular rows make rings around trees or big plants to get more emitters per plant, or follow the gently rolling landscape at a vineyard. Drip line's higher flow rates also allow the water to penetrate deeper into the soil to get the deep roots of permanent plants. Drip tape with its lower flow is great for plants with roots closer to the surface. By contrast, drip tape cannot flex or bend, but this makes it a great choice for long, straight rows on a reasonably flat plot of land. The heavy wall dripper line is definitely a more expensive product, and we're seeing it in more permanent crops. You know, the, the majority of the home of where we find it go to is permanent crop. Apples, nuts, hops, blueberries, right. vineyards. Right. That's the reason why it's a thicker product. It has a much bigger emitter, tends to have much higher flow rate. Water pressure. Our heavy wall drip line is pressure compensating. This allows it to be used over a wide range of pressure and also makes it suitable for systems with fluctuating pressure or higher pressure. Drip tape operates at lower pressure. If you have steep terrain, our heavy wall drip line is pressure compensating and will allow for uniformity across the system despite elevation changes. On steep terrain, drip tape is unlikely to work as it should. Emitters putting out much more water than they should. The constant wear and tear on the system could cause you problems down the line. It's best to mitigate risks as damage is most likely to occur at the worst possible time. Heavy wall drip line would have a great application if you had some very steep terrain. As you're going downhill, you're going to gain pressure. As you're going uphill, you're going to lose pressure. Those type of slopes would fall outside of what a drip tape emitter could do. Heavy wall dripper line would fix all that. It would allow you to have a range of pressure between, let's say, six pounds and 60 pounds, and it wouldn't matter. And so that would be a good reason to use a little bit more expensive product than tape in a row crop application. And speaking of wear and tear, the next factor we're gonna consider is durability. Is there a lot of foot traffic in the area? Is it frequently maintenanced with a weed eater or mower or other landscape equipment? Heavy wall drip line has thicker walls, making it more durable. This makes it suited for very long-term use or in areas that are just gonna see more wear and tear like foot traffic and landscape maintenance. Drip tape has much thinner walls, making it more susceptible to damage from careless foot traffic. Dripper Line's 45 wall thick product. It's a more durable product. The device itself is thick enough, strong enough to withstand 20 years of weather and mechanical harvest and things like that. A larger emitter is going to have a bigger path flow in it. It's going to have a bigger surface area of, of filtration. It's going to stay cleaner longer. We wouldn't put it on a heavier tube if we couldn't keep the emitter clean. The thickness of the tube, we're already saying this is a product that can last out there for 20 years. Yep. But that does us no good if the emitter can't do that, right? So right. yes, there has been some things that we've done with our emitters that have allowed us to sit there and say, hey, if you do your correct chores, you manage the system correctly, you can keep this thing clean for 20 years. And that's the reason why we built the thicker tube for you. Installation and maintenance. Ease of installation and maintenance is also an important consideration. This is one of the reasons farmers and commercial growers often opt for drip tape. It's just simply easier to install and maintain. The thin walls make it very easy to push on over the barb of a fitting. And it's easy to cut to length and lay out in a straight row. A drip tape installation is less likely to leave you with blistered hands. One of the things that makes drip tape so easy to install is it can be placed on a spool and unwound right into the field. This can be done in the back of a tractor or by hand. On the other hand, because of its thicker walls and how it's coiled at the factory, heavy wall drip line can be unrolled with the aid of equipment. Heavy wall drip line requires more careful installation and often requires stakes to hold it in place as it's unrolled and uninstalled. It is also more difficult to push on over barb fittings. Though there are lots of tips and tricks to make it easier, these add time and complexity to any irrigation installation. Maintenance requirements 
such as flushing or cleaning, should also be considered. Repairs for heavy wall drip line will cost a little bit more and take more time, but they should occur with less frequency. Drip tape is much easier to repair than heavy wall drip line. But how much do repairs cost? Let's take a look at costs between the two. In terms of initial cost, drip tape is going to be more affordable. Both the tape itself and the fittings used tend to cost less than those for heavy wall drip line, mostly due to less material being used. Heavy wall drip line has higher upfront costs, but it offers more long-term durability. Repairs for heavy wall drip line will cost more and take more time, but they will happen less frequently. If you're still not sure what's best for you, consider specific features that may be beneficial to your crop. For example, if you have terrain that has significant elevation changes, pressure compensating heavy wall drip line may be the right choice for you. On the other hand, if you have long straight rows and want an inexpensive and easy to work with material, drip tape could be the answer. If you have plants with long, deep roots, heavy wall drip line could be the answer with its higher volume. If labor costs are your main concern, you may want to consider drip tape with its ease of use, insulation, and maintenance. If you need to elevate your emitter line, for example, at a vineyard hanging off a trellis, you may want to consider drip line as it's flexible enough and sturdy enough to be off the ground. If you do need to hang your line from a trellis, drip line is probably going to be the answer as it even has specially made hooks that help it hang on a trellis. Drip tape could experience kinking, damage from equipment, branches, vines when hanging off a trellis. It is important to understand the unique needs of your project. Take into account factors such as plant types, water pressure requirements, durability, ease of installation and maintenance, cost, and any specific features that would benefit you and your farm the most. With this understanding, you can make an informed decision between heavy wall drip line and drip tape. If you're considering drip tape and would like to avoid the two biggest mistakes made when using it, check out our video right here. No matter which one you're considering, one, the other, or both, if you have any questions or need any assistance, you can contact us here.